Tuttle also in an interesting mid-season shuffle of personnel has announced that he has changed drivers. Alan Bradshaw is no longer with this team after a confrontation with a crew member replaced by this man, young Steve Torrance. He drove three races at the end of 2006 for Tuttle and he dazzled everybody yesterday when he was quickest in the first qualifying session. Did not run in the second session, so as we go to round three, he's in the number eight spot. Well, we've been talking about Steve Torrance and uh, that whole situation with Alan Bradshaw, and we have Alan Bradshaw on the line with us right now. Uh, Alan, what happened, I guess, is the question. Well, guys, I guess in the end, you realize that uh, the success of a race team is going to be based on chemistry and just a mutual respect for each other's desires. And, uh, you know, calling a spade a spade, we had differences of opinions on the, the safety equipment, and... While this car is, is obviously uh, meeting the requirements of the NHRA uh, rule books, uh, I felt comfortable with the, the bigger surface area pads of the ISP product in the roll cage and, and really appreciated the fact that we had the titanium shields on the car that were, I believe, uh, an installation from Kevin Pointer back when J.R. Todd drove the car. I really appreciate having those on there, being the fact I lost a good friend, Daryl Russell, uh, to obviously uh, unforeseen circumstances that got in the cockpit and took his life. So bottom line... We had those products on the car. Um, orders were passed that the, the equipment needs to come off the car in order to lighten the car to get it closer to fighting weight and a 2,300-pound minimum. And, you know, we, we did what we could to try to meet in the middle, and unfortunately uh, the relationships and the chemistry just went south. I didn't feel as comfortable in the cockpit as I, as I needed to be, and there were not going to be any concessions made. And you've got to respect the fact it's Dexter's team and it's just going to be his uh, program. And uh, sometimes you just realize you try to meet the middle. Sometimes it doesn't work out. But, you know, we push these cars to the max every single pass, trying to get every last little bit out of them. And, you know, given that, I believe that the, the safety of these cars, there may be minimum standards, and I don't think there's anything wrong with uh, most of the teams like out there right now are going beyond the call of minimum duty as far as uh, NHRA requirements to make these cars as safe as possible. And when you look at the... In the wake of the tragedies of Daryl Russell and Eric Medlin and now John Force almost losing his life out of the deal, um, I've always stood in the, in the position that we're accountable for what we've learned through these kind of tragedies. And anything done in these cars in the name of safety, less than 100%, in my opinion, is unacceptable. And that being said, uh, it's, you know, it's, everybody's got opinions, and you've got to respect the fact that Dexter and Tony have their positions. And I'm, I'm an employee, or I was. And... The bottom line is we have to just uh, accept the fact that it's their race program, and if I wasn't comfortable in that position, then obviously you see where this thing ended up. But I've always tried to give 110%, and I'm going to continue to do that. I'm not done with racing. Uh, I believe there's a perfect place for me out here, and I'm just looking forward to that opportunity coming to pass, and I can't wait to see you guys again racing. Uh, we look forward to you getting back as well. It's Corey Mack and Morgan Lucas coming to the line. Thanks, Alan Bradshaw. By the way, we tried to talk with Dexter Tuttle, and uh, they wanted to, in their words, take the high road, didn't want to comment on what had happened there that led to the departure of Alan Bradshaw.